Canaveral is firing back at critics who say a plan to import cargo to Central Florida could import terrorists as well. An Obama administration review is underway of a Middle Eastern company and advertised to bring as many as 5,000 jobs to Central Florida. West News Dan Billow is live at the Port Canaveral. And Dan, does the port have a plan B? There is a backup plan, uh, Meredith, and you know they might need it because these concerns could force out the proposed operator of the new terminal. The cargo terminal is being built there across the water. The port's chief executive suggests some of these critics have been unfair. But we can't be racist. We can't. We can't say that one group of people can't come in here. John Walsh is talking about critics of Gulf Tainer, the Middle Eastern company planning to operate the port's new cargo terminal. The company is based in Dubai, a Persian Gulf city linked to terrorist money laundering activity. Congressman Duncan Hunter raised the first red flag when he asked the Obama administration for a review of the Port Canaveral project. It is critical that we determine whether a terminal operation agreement with Gulf Tainer presents any risk or impact to U.S. national security, Hunter wrote. Well, that started a groundswell of sentiment against Gulf Tainer. There are certain constituencies, there are certain groups in this country that um, I would say at times can hide behind flag waving. The Port Canaveral chief executive officer says containers that arrive on ships will be x-rayed and screened by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Service. The fear at the port has always been that terrorists could target a cruise ship carrying 3,000 passengers. Those ships would pass within yards of the container terminal. The port is also home to the Navy's Trident nuclear missile submarines at times, another imagined terrorist target. Walsh says those kinds of concerns are common to any port. The nationality of the terminal operator won't make Port Canaveral any worse. The deliveries we'll get here in Port Canaveral are no different than the deliveries that are coming into Jacksonville or South Carolina. The U.S. review of Gulf Tainer is underway now and should be completed next month. If Gulf Tainer is forced out, the port could operate this, this cargo terminal itself or try to find another operator. But the chief executive says one way or another, they'll have a cargo terminal. We're live at the port. Dan Billow, West 2 News.